Okay, here we go again, guys. Time to go through the next batch of top 100 players in FIFA 18 on Ultimate Team. And of course, these ratings are not going to change. These are final official ratings. And today we're looking from 60 to 41. So we are going to be entering the top 50 today. There are a few players I'm expecting and hoping to see. I think Koscielny should be in this list. Those of you watching this right now, I hope that you're not laughing at me because he's not, because I'm going to be mad. Koscielny has to be in this in this top 100. I've still yet to see him, so I'm a little bit, as you can tell, a little bit disappointed. So hopefully he's going to be in this one. I'm expecting to see quite a lot of 86 rated players. I think that we're going to suddenly, it's suddenly just going to kick off and, you know, be 87, 88, 89 really quickly. But around 60 to 41, I'm expecting a lot of 86 rated players. I should say I haven't seen this at all yet. I've literally opened the link this is the top of the site. As you can see here, I have not gone down and had a look at any of the players. So here we go. Top 60 to 41. And we've got David Luiz. Okay, so yeah, I completely forgot about him. I guess you could always expect to see him in the top 100. He's now 86 rated. Oh, look at his work rates. He's finally not high medium. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting picture. Really does show his character there, but... That card is oh, super nice. He's lost a little bit of pace, but 70 is amazing. 81 physical, 84 defending. Look at his passing and dribbling as well. He's just going to be so, so popular. You cannot go wrong with David Luiz in Ultimate Team. Up next, we have Busquets. Okay, Busquets. Ooh, 40 pace. That is a huge downgrade. Did he not have 50-something? I might be wrong there. Um... I mean, Busquets has never been a popular player in FIFA, let's be honest. But, um, I mean, hang on. Isn't his main... I would say Busquets' main main thing about his game is his passing, right? He's a master of one-touch passing. He's got 79 passing. I mean, David Luiz has 74. That is actually a shocking card. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. And then we've got Rodriguez, of course, on loan at Bayern this season. He's gone down to 86 rated. I think that's fair. He's got the four-star skills, medium-low work rates, 76 pace. He's then got three stats, 80 plus. His physical 68. That's pretty decent. I actually think Rodriguez is going to do very well in the Bundesliga. I almost feel like that jump to Real Madrid was almost a bit too much for him. I, I, maybe, maybe that's just me. Um, he never quite... He, did, he, didn't, he didn't quite cut it, did he, in the Madrid squad? Um, but, of course, they've got so many great players. I think he's going to do a bit better at Bayern. And then we have, oh, of course, Alderweireld. So he's someone that I discussed in the last video because the Tongan, of course, is in the top 100. And Alderweireld is a better defender, if you ask me. He is going to be 86 rated. That's a very, very well-rounded card. Six foot two. I mean, the pace isn't perfect, but 66 is still very decent. 87 defending. That's one less than the highest we've seen so far, which was Miranda, I believe with 88. 80 physical as well. Okay, looking very good. We then have Benzema. Benzema yet again in the top 100. I mean, it'd be mad if he wasn't. 86 rated. He's lost a bit of pace, but he's still got very nice physical, nice dribbling, nice shooting. 77 passing. So you're saying that Busquets is only two ratings better at passing than Benzema. Still has the four-star, four-star, medium-low work rates. It's still a very decent card. Fabregas up next. Boo. Snake. Um, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that, although I just did. 63 pace, 77 shooting, 88 passing. What? There's no way he's that much better than Busquets at passing. Fabregas, don't get me wrong, is one of the best in the world, but that just goes to show how bad Busquets is in this game. How can you give him 79 passing? I'm actually mad at that. 81 dribbling. Um looks like his defending's gone up a little bit, which is good to see. Um, and his physical is 64. Has his defending gone up? I might I might be wrong there. Up next, we've got Isco. Yes, Isco. That is a nice looking card. High medium work rates. He's got the four star skills. 71 pace is decent as well. His physical is 62, but 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, 82 passing. Oh, man. Oh, I'm hoping he's going to have a really good season for uh, for Madrid and get an even better rating next year because he is, you know, he's the new Iniesta, isn't he? He's the next big Spanish midfielder after Xavi and Iniesta. And, you know, why would you play Busquets when you can have someone like Isco? <laughs> it just blows my mind. And then we've got Harry Kane. 
Wow, 86 rated Harry Kane. That card is absolutely incredible. Ignore his pace. Look at his shooting. Look at his physical. He, even his passing is very decent. He's got the six foot two card. Of course, he's six foot two. He's got the high, high work rates. Four star weak foot. Whew, 83 physical is nice. He's just going to score a lot of goals for you. He just is. Moving on, we've got Alexandro. Okay, so Alexandro, widely, widely known as one of the best left backs in the world. I failed to mention in the last video, I saw a lot of comments, but Marcelo, for me, he is the best left back in the world. I just completely forgot about him. Then you've got Alexandro, you've got Alba, you've got Alaba. There's quite a few left backs, but for me, Alexandro, I mean, look at that card. He's got the overall package, hasn't he? 84 physical, 81 defending, 81 dribbling, 86 pace. High, high work rates, I mean, and the card just looks sick. I love the Juventus badge. Really does look cool. And it's Coutinho. Okay. I'm a bit disappointed with that. I think I think Coutinho should be higher. I really do. I've, I've never, ever really got on with Coutinho in FIFA in general. I think he's better at Cam. The 82 pace on the wing is a little bit low. I think he's quicker than that. The high, high work rates is a little bit of a shame. 83 passing. His shooting is 70. He's got an amazing shot on him. Coutinho, for me, should be 87 minimum. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that one. But he's not even in the top 50. Coutinho is one of the top 50 players in the world. There's no doubt about it. Up next, we have Nangolan. Okay, we always knew he was going to be there. He is quite literally halfway. He's 50th. And that card is filthy. 78, 80. 78, 82, 81, 83. Wow unbelievable card really really good and of course his card always looks really cool because the belgian flag looks kind of similar to the roma and the roma uh, the roma uh, badge and the kit so that it looks aesthetically pleasing it's a very nice card and then you've got another uh, belgian player we've gone with mertens here at 49 mertens obviously has been very good over the years for napoli he's now got a center forward card with 90 pace 82 shooting 79 passing. He's got the same passing as Busquets. I'm sorry, I just cannot I cannot stop thinking about that. That's driving me mad. 89 dribbling, the high low work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Convert this this guy to a striker. Oh man, Belgium are going to have one hell of a team, aren't they? And we've got another Belgium. It's Lukaku or Stormzy. He looks just like Stormzy. When you see pictures of him in newspapers, they've actually mixed it up themselves. They've had pictures of Stormzy instead of Lukaku. It's quite embarrassing, but that that, for me, is probably going to be one of the best cards in the Premier League. 83 pace, 85 shooting, 84 physical, 74 dribbling, 70 passing, 6 foot 3. He's got the 4-star weak foot. He's going to be a monster. An absolute monster. He's going to score so many goals this season in real life and in FIFA. We've then got Muller. Didn't have a great season last year, so I'm not surprised that he's 86. Maybe could have been... Uh, 87 had he had another good season but 77 pace 82 shooting it's a nice card don't get me wrong I don't like the high high work rates on ultimate team but of course you can adjust your work rates yourself you know the training uh, not the training you know what I mean the uh, positioning and stuff like that um, he was one of my favorite players in FIFA 16 FIFA 17 not so much there was just something not right with Muller hopefully he's gonna be a bit better 80, 82 shootings laughable he's still one of the best finishers in the world if you ask me I know he had a bad season but he still for me is one of the best finishers lethal and then we have Handanovic another goalkeeper in the top 100 of course Handanovic is always going to be there six foot four makes him you know very very good 87 reflexes 87 diving 87 positioning 86 handling wow unbelievable he's going to be very good and then we've got Iniesta okay so Iniesta 87 rated, 90 dribbling, 70 shooting, 87 passing, physical and defense, not great, but he's still going to be a very good player. That passing though, 87, high medium, four star, four star, looking forward to using Iniesta, maybe his last season. I don't know if he's going to be retiring at the end of the season. I, I, I might be wrong. I think maybe he's actually said that. So it could be his last card. It could be the last time we're going to see him in Ultimate Team. Until, of course, he gets an icon slash legend card, which I'm sure he will. He just looks so old now, doesn't he? He's such a good player, though. And it's going to be a shame to see him go. And then his teammate, Rakitic. Oh, that's a nice card. I do like a bit of Rakitic in FIFA. 65 pace, doesn't matter. But his shooting, pace, dribbling. I mean, his passing, his shooting, his dribbling. 60 defense, maybe it could be a bit higher um, with 66 physical. Still very nice. In at 44, Rakitic. 
And we're already at 87, so I'm actually I'm, I'm going to regret what I said at the start. I thought most of these players would be 86. We're now on to David Silva. A couple of Spanish players in a row here, except from Rakitic, of course. Uh, 68 pace, 72 shooting, 87 passing, 87 dribbling. He's gone bald this season, so hopefully they're going to change his picture. Um, he looks so different without hair. Uh, high, low work rates, two-star weak foot, four-star skills. And then we have another Spanish player, PK this time. I still think PK is one of the best centre-backs, but he doesn't... He doesn't often show it, does he? He has, he has moments where he's absolutely world-class. Um, and it's a bit of an underwhelming card. I think his passing's better than 69. I think his defence is probably better as well. 86 seems a little low. If Miranda's got 88, uh, I don't know about that. 76 physical. I mean, it's still, it's still a usable card, but PK's never been massively popular, has he? And then our last card is going to be Hamzik. 87 rated. He said he's never going to leave Napoli. Is that going to be the case? At some point he might, I guess. But 74 pace, 80, 84, 84, 68, 70. That is a very, very well-rounded card. And one of my favourite things in the game, a player with five-star weak foot. He's going to be your ultimate midfielder. And that's it. We're up now to the top 40 in the next episode. We're going to see 40 to 21. Then I'm assuming 21 to 10 or 21 to 3. And then you see the top three. Some very good cards, guys. I'm very, very surprised at some of them, though. Coutinho should be higher. I think the only one that definitely needs changing, though, is Busquets. The passing is a joke. Absolute joke. 79 passing for Busquets is rubbish. And, of course, Coutinho should be 87, in my opinion. But that's going to round up this episode, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying them, me offering my opinions on it. Let me know what you think below, and I will see you for the next episode tomorrow.